came out here to preach the word and to prophesy the downfall of this world. That's right. And to, and to um, spring up the truth. That's why we come out here. You know? Yeah, so read that again one more time, brother. Uh, Reve um, Revelation. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Yeah, somebody look up the word salvation. Romans 13, 11. Yeah. Keep going, brother. And it says, nearer than we believe. It's nearer than when we believe. How do we know that it's nearer than when we believe? Get the scripture where it talks about, um, what is it, uh, if, you, if you see these leaves, if you see the... Uh, 24, yeah, 24 towards the end. Uh, yeah, go on. It's at Luke 21. Yeah, that's and, a good one as well. Man. And 28, and it says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up lift up your heads for your redemption draws nigh. Man. And that's what we, like I said, that's what we know and we can see. We see that our salvation is there. Because we're not always going to be down and out and right. doing this work anymore, man. It's going to come a time where we're going to be resting, brothers. Yep. Because we would, we would have already did all the work. And that's why the apostles gave, gave the edict years ago, or not years ago, but a couple of years back, to do three videos per week. Because right now, we're in captivity and we got work to do. Right. So when we get into the kingdom, we can do all the rest that we want. We can do anything that we want to do. We don't have to teach the whole the whole nation of Israel the word anymore because guess what? We're going to be under the second covenant. Pursuant to the Hebrews, the eighth chapter, it says, "From the least to the greatest, to the greatest of all, the nation of Israel shall know me." So there's not going to be no more teaching. All we're going to do is, is uh, set the, the nations in order and, and govern the whole entire empire. The next world to come, the kingdom going. Bro. This is um, the word for salvation in Romans 13:11. This is a Strong's G4991 Sotaria. Sotaria. It says um, deliverance, preservation, safety, salvation, deliverance from the molest molestation of enemies. Mm. And it says of the deliverance of the, molest the molestation of enemies. <laughs> yes. So we're gonna in other words, when you look up the word salvation, the word means um ultimately it just means preservation from danger. So we're gonna be preserved from the nuclear destruction and other perils. Yeah. Matter of fact, somebody get that too. Can I finish this? Yeah, finish that. Yeah. Uh, Romans 13, and um, I'll go to verse 12, and it says, The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Yeah. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness yes. and let us put on the armor of light. In other words, you got to fully gird yourself with this faith now. Now is the time, than never before, to fully get yourself um, covered in this faith, in this truth. Prayer, fasting, if the Spirit is on you to do so, do that. Okay? But as the scripture says, the scripture says, cease not from prayer. So we're in that time where we have to continue to pray. Because we know what? That our salvation is there than what we believe. We say the salvation of Israel. Go on, brother. This is Daniel 12, 12 and 1. So it says, And in that time, okay, and at that time, shall Michael stand up, the great prince which stand up for the children of thy people. Who's going to stand up for the children of the people? Yahweh Shai, and it's going to be him beside him. It's going to be the archangel beside Yahweh Shai. Fighting for the nation of Israel, the elect, to deliver them. Go on. Um, Deliver thy people, and there shall be such time of trouble. It's lucky there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was there since, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. Mm -hmm. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. And, and at that time shall thy people be delivered. And it also talks about in the book of Isaiah 33. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it talks about the time of Jacob's trouble. Is that Jeremiah. Baby? Jeremiah 30 and what? Believe it's 31. Yeah, it's 31, yeah. Uh, it's 30 and uh, 7. 30? 30, uh, 30, 30 is, uh, 30 is, is, is So I'm telling you it's 30 and 8. Jeremiah 30 and 8. 30 and 7. So 37 on the road. Jacob's trouble, but yeah, yeah continue to read on, brother. Um, it says, Thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Right. Yeah. Those are going to be delivered. Those that are going to be found written in the book. Because really, when you check it out, the ones that are written in the book, understand the book. Yeah, yeah, you see what I'm saying? So, 
and this is why this is why um John the Revelator he was what is it he was crying because no one couldn't no one couldn't unseal the book no one couldn't uncover the book but the people that can uncover the book are those that are written off the book it makes all the sense in the world you can't get just any old average person to pick up the Bible and read it and understand it no in order for this book to be open you have to in other, in other words for the first thing let's do let's I'm gonna say this in order the first thing has to happen the Lord has to set the prophets up open their minds up so that these books can be opened so going back to what I'm gonna say the second time coming those that are in the book of life potentially are going to understand the book so read that one more time and they're gonna be the ones that are gonna be delivered go on uh, yeah read one more time go on. Yeah. <coughs> Daniel 12. Yeah, Daniel's 12. Yeah. So Daniel 12 and 1 it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which stand up for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was there since there was a nation, even to that same time. Yeah. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone shall be found written in the book. Right, and at that time they shall be delivered. So the elect they're going to be delivered. We're going to be delivered. We're in a time of, of seeing, Lord willing, probably next year, or probably in a couple of more months' time, we're going to experience our deliverance while the society goes to hell at the same time. Right. Because, see, you, you, this is never going to happen, man. And, and what I'm saying is this, Esau, if, as long as Esau is up, Jake ain't going to be up. This is why Jake is trying so hard to be up there with Esau, but you're not going to be up there with Esau. Because it ain't it ain't your time to it ain't your time to be living deliciously right. with Esau. Same thing with us. When we when we rise up sitting on the thrones, Esau's not gonna be sitting next to us on the thrones. Yeah. As a matter of fact, he's gonna be far from he's gonna be far from the throne. He's gonna be lower than other nations. That's right. Just like how we're lower than the other nations in this day and age. Pursuing to what is it? Deuteronomy the 20th chapter, it says, um, all of these nations shall get up above thee very high you shall become only oppressed ever more and guess what those curses that were on our people as a nation those curses are going to go all the way back to those to the same people that we were cursed under and the main and the, the, the number one nation that's going to face the curses the most is the nation of Edom they're going to be the most cursed out of all of them all right you're going bro a quick one on what you were just saying in Micah chapter 2 and ten, and it says, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, yeah. because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even yeah. with a sore destruction." And why is it polluted? Because Esau has the power, and when Esau comes into power, what does he do? He destroys, he taints everything, and this is what we're experiencing in this life to this very moment in time. So this is a polluted system. So if Jake wants to be a part of this society, he has to play the game of Edom. Jake has to sell their soul. Whether you're a businessman or whether you get into the uh, the music business world or any form of business you get involved in, you have to sell your soul to Esau. You gotta play the game of Esau. Alright, if Esau is down with Satan, you gotta be down with Satan. That's just how it is. And that's how the society's so polluted. <coughs> but the, the, the point being is, is this is not our rest. Like Paul said, Paul said we have no continued willing city. We have no continuing city here. <laughs> so all we're here, we're just dwelling here, and we're just depending upon Esau for the one of all things. And that's the curse. But that curse is gonna be up real soon. And I mean soon, sooner than you think. Anyway, go on. Finish me. Yeah, I'm done. This is Revelations 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her, my people. That ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. Right. So it says, um, it says, um, uh, yeah, again. Yeah, again. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Yeah. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Yes, it says, Come out of her, my people and be not partakers of her sins. So on a spiritual note, we're already doing that. We're already doing that. We've already saved ourselves and, and repented back to the Heavenly Father. But really, this is talking about the physical salvation. 
Because we're literally going to be beamed up. Because those that are going to be destroyed in that nuclear fire are going to be the two thirds of our own people that fail to repent. You know? Let me stand this up. So. They're going to be the ones consumed in that lake of fire because they failed not to repent spiritually. So therefore, they're going to be they're going to be bathing in that lake of fire. That's right. Okay. Go on. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. And the Most High remembered her iniquity. The word iniquity means a multitude of sins. So all of the sins that were committed ever since the time Esau began his rulership, it's all been recorded. All right, the heavens are recording man's handiwork and what they've been doing, good or bad. So um, let me see what else we can get. Get me, uh, get me, um, oh yeah, Isaiah 55 verse 11. Yeah, we're Isaiah. just jumping around. We're just jumping around. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Mm -hmm. But shall, but it shall accomplish <coughs> that which I please. And it shall prosper in a thing whereto I sent it. Right. And that's all of the prophecies. But the main prophecy that we're sticking to right now is our salvation. Which is nearer than when we believe. So you better believe if it's in the Lord's intent to fulfill his will in saving us. Then that's going, that's going to be the case. No matter how much Esau tries to oppress our people mentally, psychologically, it makes no difference. It makes no difference, man. Because see, Esau could oppress us monetarily, but he can't oppress us spiritually. Because guess what? Who has control of the spirits? The Most High does. Okay, the Most High has spirits on the right hand side and he has spirits on the left hand side. And they all come from him. So if they all come from him and he controls all of those spirits, don't you think... He's gonna have power over those spirits. Come on, man. Yeah, please, Steve. Uh, you wanna get it? Go with you. What, 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 what was it? Solomon five or two? Um, Strangers of Salvation. Yeah, let me just get this first bit. Um, this is Hebrews chapter twelve and nine, and it says. All right, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 12 and 9 and it says this furthermore we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us and we gave them reverence shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits ah, and beautiful. live that's it so he's known as the Yahweh really is his name is known as the father of spirits okay even when you read in the book of Job, the second chapter, it says all of the sons of God came present before him. And guess what? Who came in the midst? Satan came in the midst. Satan came in the midst. So all of the spirits belong unto him. So if we're within this realm and we're all his spirits and, and you have certain spirits that, that are his spirits that he holds near dead to him, they're going to they're gonna wake up out of sleep, out of this slumber, and they're going to do this right here. They're going to prophesy and preach and teach or evangelize or whatever whatever it involves to, to, to push this word or to propagate this word because we're not just some old average Christians right. we're the real Christians that you read in the New Testament 2,000 years ago and we're them same guys coming back right. the disciples, the, what is it, the 12 Yahweh Shai and the Apostle Paul John the Baptist, James that's us brothers, that's who we are we're those same men potentially written in the book so if those same men of dead are gone and passed away, they're going to come back in the reincarnation. They're going to do the same thing all over again. And those are those chosen spirits that he chose within his chosen people. We don't. Yeah, people are going to listen because people that know they have nothing to do with themselves. So they're going to come around here. I noticed that. I noticed that. No, I'm watching this people. Hmm. I'm minding our own business. Um, brother, you have a piece Yeah, I've got a piece This is uh, Colossians uh, 1 and 15. Who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature. Right. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible 